We're going to have you take on this emergency sortie, Colonel. The Americans are sending their trump card, the High Speed Orbital Attacker Unit. It's heading to our base in Vladivostok. You are going to intercept them. The HSOAU has very exceptional agility for its size and its ability to attack with beam weapons from low orbit make it a perfect fortress destroyer. That's why we have to intercept it before it reaches its destination. If we let that thing arrive at Vladivostok, they're going to be annihilated. They will be expecting interception. They'll be prepared well for the fight. So it's equipped with Russian weapons. That means they will have particle shields and rely heavily on beam weapons, right? Yes, sir. That will be the case if they are able to break the weapon system's activation code. The company that manufactures weapons for HSOAU is the same company that created Judgment in Zavtra. And what if they cannot break the weapon code? They'll have to go without using the weapon originally installed in the chassis. It's still possible that they'll install a makeshift weapon system at an external weapon station. Julian, you know about the HSOAU, right? Yes, Colonel. It's built by a joint effort between the UCN and the CFN. The chassis, engine, and control system is all American technology, but its weapon system is ours. It's the first step of U.S. President Sean Soloway's plan to knit a closer relationship between the UCN and CFN. It's designed to need both governments' authorization to activate. Therefore, the U.S. government holds the key of the engine, and our government holds the key of the weapon. Yet they don't hesitate to use it against us as soon as we are at war with each other. That's the bird of peace, huh? <sighs> this is too ironic. They sent the red demon? <laughs> oh, this will save us time. Welcome to the commencing operation here. Don't get to rush in the target area anymore. Let the blood be shed. You really weren't kidding when you said it was fast. Look, it's on your side. It appears that the target has no intention to escape from the combat area before it defeated you. They will regret that decision. American anti-air system, sir. Lightly equipped. So, they don't have much space remaining for installing external weapons. We better engage them with our full capacity. We're against the Red Demon himself. Oh, 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 oh. I know. Those Russian weapon systems take some time before they're operational. The Exium particle output stable. Weapon control system online on the CIC. Switching to the primary weapon system oh, now. That's all weapon technology, technology, sir. Ah, they were finally able to unlock the ship's original weapons. Impressive. Hot points for reloaded and ready.
To support both offensive and defensive operation, UCN scheduled to launch a new prototype orbital weapon. All details of this weapon are confidential. The launch will be done by using mass driver at Eastern Siberia Space Station. That exposes it to a tech by the United States Air Force. However, we cannot postpone the launch. Protect the mass driver and the prototype weapon until it safely can escape. What is the prototype weapon, sir? We cannot tell you that, Lieutenant. on the northeastern border we share with the CFN. And we're doing quite well in the battle so far. This is to my surprise, due to the difference in sizes of deployable forces in the combat area. But our defense forces are able to hold their ground. That should give us enough time to mobilize enough combat forces into the region so we can contain the situation. So you're saying that we're aiming to de-escalate the situation by holding talks with the CFN? We still want to cooperate with them. If they want to collaborate with us to create a peaceful world, we're more than glad to help. But unless Americans change their foreign relationship approach, it will be impossible. What do you mean by their foreign relationship approach? We cannot accept what we witnessed with the Bangkok 2 colony attack. Considering how close Bangkok 2 is to the Temasek orbital elevator, this is a disrespect we will not tolerate. U.S. Vice President Orville L. Johnson state in today's press release that the United States has no connection to the children of fallen nations terrorist group, and the U.S. is not responsible for the terrorist attack on Bangkok 2 colony. The Congress authorized offensive military campaign in response to the UCN strike force attack on Ecuador orbital elevator, which is putting almost half of the world's population into great risk. Meanwhile, U.S. President Sean Soloway hasn't yet made any media appearance since the beginning of the war. Why are orbital elevators so important? Flying cities need a very rare isotope of gas that can only be found near low orbit. It is used for generating power to keep cities airborne. Without them, the cities will begin to fall. Combat ships also use this gas in their reactors. 
So both R and their government decide to put millions of lives at risk by attacking each other's orbital elevators and then declare war at each other? Why are people in power so stupid? Can't nations just get along and trade and try to understand each other? To think that so many people have sacrificed their lives for us. Juliana, stop. We are professional combat operators. Do not let hatred overtake your mind. Whatever your reason to fight, never let hatred fuel you. Colonel. Huh? What are we fighting for? You'll have to find your own answer to that question, William. Right. Cut the chatter. American strike force are now in combat area. All units, prepare to engage. Military transport aircrafts detected in enemy formation. They're heading for the mass driver.
Ground forces neutralized. Mass driver operation. You copy. Roger that. The SSTO is on the elevator and moving oh, to the mass driver. Transport ship moved to mass driver. Preparing for launch sequence. This ship is much smaller than I thought. That prototype weapon is contained in that. We're going to protect it until it leaves the mass driver and climbs to a safe altitude. Enemy spotted. Stay in formation, Danger Rangers. Punch them out of the sky. Can you withstand the terror you have brought upon yourself? The Danger Rangers will take care of you. Ah, battle frame damage. Hard points for we don't need the hand ready. Defense system on Hogwarts 6 is ready. SSTO is launching in 3, 2, 1, launch! The Grim Reaper is ready to engage the enemy! Hard points for reloading and ready. Hard points for reloading and ready. 